Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show the game between Pencil and Goldsov. This game was played in Dayton in 1976. White started with e4. Black played e5. Knight to f3 attacking the pawn on e5. Defending and Pencil played Bishop to b5. Ru Lopez of Spanish opening. Knight to d4. And white, of course, captured the knight, not the pawn, only five. Pawn takes knight. Pencil castled kingside. c6. Bishop to a4. Bishop to c5. d3. Knight to e7. Bishop to b3. Black a castle kingside. f4. Black played king to h8, perhaps planning f5. But white played f5. Black played f6. White to move. What would you do? How would you launch the attack on black king? Bishop to f4 doesn't look too bad, does it? White played queen to h5. This is not comfortable for black king now. Black to move. How should black continue? Black played d6. Black should have played d5. That would make white Light square bishop less dangerous on the long diagonal. But we have d6. Rook to f3, rook lift. Queen to e8. Black would love to exchange queens. But white has a better idea than that. White to move. What would you do? Please pause the video and try to find the best move for white. Ready? Let's have a drum roll. Sorry, due to popular demand, we will not have drum rolls. Okay, are you ready to see the move? In the game, white sacrificed the queen on h7. Check. And black resigned, believe it or not. Possible continuation. Or if you wish, the only continuation, king takes queen, then rook to h3 check, and after queen to h5, rook takes queen, check mate. Nice, isn't it? Did you see the killer move in this position? Now you understand why the pawn should be on d5. If you see the move, Congratulations. Beautiful game, isn't it? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your king hunt. And bye for now.